Hey Capricorn. Happy birthday to those of you out there. Uh, thank you for being here as we enter this new realm, this new season. After the sol winter solstice and under the light of the full moon, which is happening now, today. Cancer, in Cancer, in your opposition, which we'll talk more about. But this month, it's important to remember that the energy that Capricorn season gives you, right? Your home, your sign, your season. It's just important not to give or false promise to yourself anything. It's really important that you speak to these ideas, these thoughts that you've had in your head, because yes, sometimes those things can become more than just an idea. But this is about you connecting even more with and through these ideas, perhaps with other people through ideas. You, the thing is, is that you can't work with any old energy right now. So anything that feels old or stuck or unresolved, the Mercury retrograde in Capricorn may make you think, yes, we can do all of this, but sometimes, sometimes, when we take a look and we go through these retrogrades, it's a time of rehashing. It's a time where we can redirect, relook, all those, you know, key pref prefixes, right? Sometimes in a retrograde, the thing that you need to maybe reflect and decide upon is to start from new, is to decide that what is worth it? What's worth your energy at this point? Because there's a new, a completely new wave wanting to enter and you've already been entered in it and it probably feels good, but you may need to express. There's some things that you need to express, some ideas, some thoughts that they only can become valuable when you add the value to them, right? Other people can add value by also agreeing with you and using that and whatever. Like it's like a product that works really well. A lot of people will want or buy or use whatever. Same thing. You, it's about being able to, it's, or it's about being heard, right? That is a value. And this is, it goes so deep into like you hearing yourself you finally hearing like okay this just isn't gonna work anymore and if i'm going to if i have all these things in my head like why not or that i think about why not have a conversation why not commit to the art of it so it could just be you telling other people or it could be where that could be for you in a personal arena, like you may feel like you're on kind of, or in front of a, a podium, right? You may feel like on stage in a personal way. You may not be literally on stage, but you feel this way when you present the side of yourself, the side of your brain, this perception that you're revealing to others is different. And the quick shift that you will see or be presented with this month is about how willing you are to commit to this next phase of your life. You've been here before, obviously it just looks different. It's nothing you haven't done, but you just know how life changing it is. And it's possible that now that Pluto has is leaving your sign finally and completely, that this transformation is coming to 
a close that whatever is supposed to come from this Plutonian time for you is presenting itself forward now and it may come in terms of in, it may come intuitively right it may come like while you're in action and all of a sudden you have an idea and it makes sense the only thing I think every January for those people who follow like the new years or like resolutions or goals which isn't a bad thing but any for any of those people who do it in this time it's important and if you're one of those people it's important not to over promise yourself anything and impulse is always an option right so if this commitment is impulsive in a way that feels risky and is also nerve-wracking but exciting continue to explore right that's always a good sign if it brings anything else capricorn the retrograde is also a great time to look at that so that you don't get stuck there right so that it doesn't when it when mercury moves direct it doesn't make it harder you can decide now and in within these weeks of the retrograde especially in the beginning what you can and actually are willing to commit to how much time do you need to develop again what it is that you are being the information you're being presented with right how much is honest like do you want to over promise or under right over promise and under deliver or under promise and over deliver <laughs> right this has you thinking maybe thinking about what has been obvious but not so obvious to you about what needs to about what this change will be I think for the most part you're definitely aware that of certain specific things that will change when you make decisions but this one feels I think this time feels a little more mysterious auspicious for you which can bring that hesitation or that all-in mentality as like I just need a jump I can't look I just have to jump right so anything that causes that kind of feeling right now you're gonna do what you want however and this may you may need you may have need needed to let go of this anyway of something that is a value or that's been ready to you've been ready to move on from but you just enjoy whatever it adds to your life but at this point it's almost taking you away and follow this like it served its purpose now it's just taking time from you but because it's a pentacles it might be adding dollars to you right it might be adding dollars taking time if you think of it that way then it's not actually helping right you can redirect your focus in that very capricorn way and say well if it's adding money it is adding value is the time but does the time that you're spending doing whatever this is it could be school it could be a job doesn't matter is this worth the commitment is this worth you know losing can you trust that you'll be just fine right like that's what it's like you're gung-ho you're ready and it's and it could be especially in um nighttime that's where capricorn i feel like finds its magic hour but what you the thing is what you may find through this is that 
you have maybe been, co maybe been covering a hurt. And that's where this is taking you. It's taking you on a ride this month back to no matter what, what it seems like it's taking you back to a time where you maybe decided you weren't going to take a look at what's been causing some pain within causing a certain aspect of you to be hidden. And however and whenever you uncover this, you realize that what's beyond this is much more vast. That if you were to even reflect and look back, you would think it probably, I probably couldn't have done it before. I probably couldn't have thought this big before. I needed to clear space in my life through relationships that helped with your mind, through your own personal findings, workings, explorations, lessons. That even though things weren't that bad, we come from this, we have the seven right above the eight. That this, whatever comes next feels not more important, but very significant. There's been significant moments that have, that you've come to in your life, but it's when you come to this thought process, right? Uh, and it's been said before, when you come to this time in your life where you realize that giving your energy, your mind, your focus, your discipline, for some, your love, for some, it's included in within a purpose. That you're always in service to this time frame, to this timeline. That you're always in service to and how you act and how you proceed is giving life to what's going to happen next. It's feeding this energetical timeline, this frequency of your life. And what's being, because so much has been rid of, there's this openness now. And now that this pain is being acknowledged, it could have been from a relationship from that had brought you value a very long time ago. And now you may be even grieving for some of you, it may have kept you in a certain place as well. Not necessarily, a, in, for some of you, literally a location, but it's that place within yourself where you felt that even though it may not have been the safest place at the time, that's what safety was and now safety is beginning to transform, right? Safety looks different now. Value looks different now from the seven pentacles to the six, you may realize and recognize that some of what you've been giving hasn't been from the best place. It hasn't been from a hurtful place. It's been from a place of maybe covering up your grievances, perhaps. Like giving, whether it's money, monetary value, or giving away what's left of your energy, hence the crumbs, feels like all that you can give sometimes. Or that's what you have to give. 
but really it just may have run you much more dry than normal. And now that you are replenishing this area, acknowledge, which acknowledgement can add to, right? The three of swords to the three of wands to the ace of wands, this, whatever this grievance, this pain has brought you to leave behind what is from the eight to the 10 of, cause we don't have the 10 of cups out here, but from the eight of cups into something sec more secure, emotionally secure, putting your energy into, to something much different, to being more open, to seeing things in a different way that can add value to you in a way that's not just whatever has been left over, right? It's putting that presence in. If there's anyone pressuring you to make any certain decisions or commitments, this is just a maybe a very step-by-step -step month. Um, nothing too crazy. If you also feel like someone's pressuring you into a decision, like I was saying before, and that activates this pain, it's possible that you need to recognize whether you're ready or not because a lot of times when something comes in, something gets let out, whether it's emotionally, mentally, physically, it just, that's how this works or else things get stuck and you're not one to be stuck. Even if you are in your mind physically, you're not gonna be stuck. This um, connection, this commitment, this exchange that you're having with life and yourself and your own personal life mostly and mainly and having threes run throughout it it's this act of change it's saying experiencing dreaming thinking envisioning it's all of it you may want to get some lavender if you don't already have some Capricorn all right, and we'll see you right into the, we're going to go right into the next part where we explore this even further. Because what you have is really just a, a huge moment of clarity that you're changing, your mind's changing, and it's influenced by how you and is always influenced by how you treat yourself moving forward and how you deal with whatever is being presented at hand at your hands right now. Just give yourself the time or make the time. We have the five, I didn't even see this at the bottom because this is important. Whomever, whatever time it was in your life, maybe it's a time in your life, a person in your life, part of you that you are no longer or that you're ready to be freed from is asking for your connection this month in many different ways and in many ways setting you free we'll see you next month Happy birthday again information to work with me one-on-one -on -one is below as well as the extended version to this will be right Below, give it 24 to 40 hours for that specific video to be there. But just check back because we're going to get into this even more Capricorn.